So this is a free guitar lesson. I'm Peter Otschbach. I'm showing you the intro of Pinball Wizard. And I first play the intro and then I show you. So here it is. Starts with this chord. So first finger, second fret, E string, second finger, second string, third fret, third finger, fourth string, fourth fret, little finger, third string, fourth fret. Then I lift the index finger like this. So second chord. Then I move this away and have my first finger on the second string, second fret. This is the third chord. Then I change it, lift my fourth finger and put my third finger on the G string, third fret. Then I make a silent move like this, just change my finger from the third to fourth finger because I have to switch like this. This is 4th finger D string, 4th fret, 1st finger, 3rd string, 2nd fret, and 2nd finger, 2nd string, 2nd fret. And then I lift my first two fingers like this, and then I play this. This is a G chord with an open E string. One, two, three. And then the same thing, one fret lower, like this. So these are the chords. And it's like this. just open strings. And here I take a thumb for the low F sharp note. The A string is muted. The high E string is ringing. For the arpeggio here, you always need a little bit of time. And for this, you steal the time from the note that's coming next. So, no, you steal the time from the note before. <laughs> <laughs> so, you have to start a little bit earlier so that the high E string would be on time. So, it's like a little bit earlier. Pinball Wizard Jangle, it's like. So the chord is like thump, low E string, 7th fret, index finger, B string, 2nd string, 
7th fret, 2nd finger, 3rd string, 8th fret, 3rd finger, D string, 4th string, 9th fret and also 9th fret the G string with the little finger. So no 2nd finger, sorry that was my mistake, no 2nd finger, you, you need it later. So this is the first of two chords, the second chord is like this. So you have the G string in the 8th fret and not the 9th. 9th fret, 8th fret. This is with the little finger, this is with the second finger. These are the two chords. A string is muted, high E string is also muted by the index finger. So no sound on the high E string. The rhythm is like up, up, down, up, down, up, up. This is the pattern. If I repeat it, it's like it's like a waltz. isn't a waltz at all so there are two notes missing at the end so it's like same pattern down down this is the whole thing it's a 4-4 four, four bar same thing down down four change in the fifth fret. chord is pressed down. Then you have a B chord, A chord, C chord, no, D chord, <laughs> and E. the beginning of Pingua Wizard. If you enjoyed this little workshop, so I'm teaching for the Mediterranean Music School, it's med-music-school.com, visit and maybe we'll see each other at a workshop. Enjoy!